Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0RQJ. So I'm out and about today and I wanted to do a test with this FT817 and this tactical antenna, but I've got a few issues. I'm getting like whistling sounds or high pitched noises over the airways when I'm receiving audio coming through. So I'll show you what I mean. If I go on to VH, so it's GB3 VH, and I key up with this Ollie Whiz. You'll see there, or hear there, that audio come back to us, so we got into the repeater, but I've got nothing else come back. If I do it on this radio, the FT817, you'll hear that a, a load of uh, static noise comes back and whistling noises, so let's turn that down and key up with this radio. There you go, you heard all that noise coming through. So let's change to a repeater that's active at the moment. Let's try CE, that was active, wouldn't it go? This is GB3 CE. Now I don't think it's the batteries, because I've just got a fresh, brand new pack of uh, AAs in there. I don't think it's the antenna, because I had the same issue with the stock antenna. So when I get back to my QTH, I'll be trying it off the rear antenna. Now it also happens when I key up as well, so it might be a microphone issue. Don't know. I'm going to try and factory reset this, and then restore it, the image, using a uh, chirp, because I've got that backed up on the Lintz machine. And hopefully it's just going to be a simple case of give it a reset, and it works again. So let's try GB3OY, and see if we can get anything out of this radio. So let's go back to OY. And we'll key up on OY, just going to plug in the microphone. Well, we'll be trying in the shack another microphone. Oh, that one's... no. I can describe that noise as a, a ZX Spectrum trying to load. So if you had this issue before or know what the issue is, place it in the comments below. So let's go back to the shack and try it on the rear antenna. Maybe there's a problem with this um, antenna socket there. Let's find out. Okay, I've gone handheld with a camera and I've got it connected to the Diamond X50 antenna. And on the screen we've got GB3PE. If I go to VH, And the R indicates on the rear antenna, so you get that by holding the function button down and selecting menu number 7, rear antenna. If you change the dial, well, I've heard the click, that's the relay kicking in to tell you you're going between the antennas. So I'm going to press and hold the function button. And I'm going to key up on VH, and I've got low vol volume, let's give it a bit more volume, and see if we get that whistling noise. God, that is terrible. Let's try OY. Oh, that one's okay. Well, I thought it was okay. It's not now. I can hear that crackling coming through and the whining sound. Let's try... um. See if anyone's on the band. Let's go through. So even on low volume, that sounds better. It's gonna get a stronger signal coming in on something. Let's try LT. That come through a minute ago. Even a very low signal is still coming through. A uh, very low volume, sorry, is still coming through. Whining sounds. What do this could be? Faulty speaker? Don't know. So I'm not sure what the actual issue could be. I don't think it's the antenna because uh, I've tried it on the stock antenna, it's doing the same. I haven't actually transmitted on this one yet. We tried it with a rear antenna, so the Diamond X50, and it was still getting the horrible noises. So in a week, I'm going to try it on a different power supply, 
and I'll try it with a pair of headphones and a pair of speakers. Now, there is a switch on the side here that says SP-PH. I've tried switching both of them and I'm still getting the horrible whining noises. Hopefully when I plug a pair of speakers in or near pair of earphones I won't get the horrible whining noises. I'll also try it with a different microphone to the one I'm using on me Yaesu upstairs, my 857. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ73.